hope you got to um, the link to Carol's meeting tonight. We'd love to have you on there if you'd like to come. And um, it'll start at five o'clock this afternoon uh, for Arizona time, obviously. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to move down on our backs. Allowing our knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, Four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale.
Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Flex your feet, sit up on your bolster. Sit up straight, inhale those arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right, east and west. Again, drag those shoulders back and down and drag that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Look up towards the ceiling, make mudras with both sets of fingers if you'd like to. Opening up those right obliques, breathing in and out in twisted dandasana. Again, keep dragging those shoulders back and down as much as you can, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Again, as you're breathing, you should feel yourselves opening even more. And if this is too intense, again, it's always possible to place your elbow in between your knees or on the outside of your left knee. But obviously for a deeper stretch, place that elbow on the outside of your right knee. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you open up to the left. Again, drag your shoulders back and down and then drag that right elbow on the outside of your left knee and smile. Again, opening up those left obliques, breathing in and out. Keep imagining those shoulders opening as much as you can to the side wall, opening your hearts as you do. Keep breathing. Your breath is your power. Slowly inhale back up again. Exhale. As you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale halfway up. And then exhale down, chin to shin. And then just curl in. Again, breathing in and out in Dandasana, staff pose. Thank you. 
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, dragging your heel in. Flex that right foot. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward. Hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach chin to shin, and then just curl in. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as we draw that right knee to your left knee, twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of the bolster. Inhale first. And exhale as you walk your hands forward, placing that right cheek on your block, twisting your hips, your spines, your shoulders, and your necks. Breathing in and out as you drag your hearts down towards the mat through the breath. <laughs>
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you and shake them out. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, driving your right heel towards your sit bone. Flex your left foot. Inhale that left. Those arms all the way up above you. Exhale over that left leg. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Shin to shin. And then just curl in. In half dandasana. Again, <clears throat> working towards folding forward, dragging that chin towards your shin if this is in your practice. Breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, bringing it to your right knee, twist to the back of the room. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward, placing that left cheek on the block, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Let's come up to the tops of our mats before we start yoga nidra and just stretch the upper part of our body. Inhale that left arm all the way up and exhale down onto your right elbow. Opening up those left obliques, dragging your left shoulder, left hip back and down. Mm -hmm. 
slowly inhale back up again. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale as you come down onto that left elbow. Again, opening up your right oblique, striding your right shoulder, right hip back and down as you do. And smile. Inhale back up again. And now let's go ahead and make ourselves comfortable. So make sure that you have a bolster or a block for your knees. If you don't, you can place the soles of your feet together, place your knees, or excuse, soles of your feet as wide as the mat, knees together to make sure that your knees stay up. Make sure you have a comfortable pillow for your head as well as a blanket to cover yourselves with and perhaps an eye pillow. Make sure that you turn off the video if you'd like to, you don't have to, I'll be doing that. I'm going to change the playlist to our Yoga Nidra playlist as you're doing so. Again, <clears throat> lying down on your backs, making sure that whatever uh, position you're in is comfortable and is one that you can maintain for the duration of the practice. I'll go ahead and turn my video off. It is time for Yoga Nidra. You should be lying on your back with the knees slightly bent and supported. Make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that will be comfortable for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during Yoga Nidra so that both your body and your brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice is ended. The practice of Yoga Nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to the hypnagogic state, a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked to move your awareness to various bodily sensations, emotions, and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. 
During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If the mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice. Become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward, searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments. Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside your home, to sounds inside your home, to sounds inside the room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls of your room, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body without any effort. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. There is a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat, into your lungs. There is a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. The natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation, followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. <clears throat> Slow inhale. Even slower exhale. And pause.
Feel the urge to breathe in bubble up inside of you. When you need to inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale. And then pause where the body, body is neither breathing in nor out. Please continue breathing in this way. Now go back to the natural easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or the exhale. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. At this moment, you should make your sankalpa or intention. The sankalpa should be a short, positive statement in simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please mentally state your sankalpa clearly and with awareness three times. The sankalpa you make during yoga nidra plants a seed in the fertile soil of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also say to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra. I am awake and relaxed. We will now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You will move your awareness to different parts of your body as soon as you hear them named. Please say the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not move any part. The practice begins on the right side. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, Wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist. Hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot. Top of the foot, right big toe, 
second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpits, waist, Thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot. Top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe. Fifth toe, now go to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, Right thigh, left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle back, upper back, the entire spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, <clears throat> forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, Middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, 
left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, <clears throat> Both lips together. Chin. Jaw. Throat. Right collarbone. Left collarbone. Right side of the chest. Left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, right groin, left groin, the pelvic floor. The whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, the whole face. The whole head, the whole torso, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Now imagine the whole body becoming light, as though your body could float away from the floor and toward the ceiling. The head is light and weightless. The limbs are light and weightless. The torso is light and weightless. The whole body light and weightless. You are rising higher and higher away from the floor. Imagine your whole body becoming heavy. Feel the heaviness in all parts of the body. Each part is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The head is heavy. The limbs are heavy. The torso is heavy. The whole body is heavy. So heavy that it is sinking down into the floor. Awaken the experience of cold in the body, the experience of chilly cold. Imagine being outside in winter without enough clothing. You feel this chill permeating your entire body. Now allow the sensation of warmth to spread throughout the entire body. 
Remember the feeling of heat in summer when you are out in the sun with no shade. You feel heat radiating onto your skin, heat all around the body. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you were at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors, patterns, and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any subtle images make themselves known, simply notice them without directing the images. If thoughts occur, let them come and go but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now, a number of different things will be named and you should envision them on the level of emotion, memory, and imagination as best you can. Jump from image to image as soon as you hear it. Red desert. Peacock feather. Buddha meditating. The touch of a loved one. A good night's rest. A full moon. Your reflection in a mirror. A foggy morning. The sun shining overhead. A bouquet of flowers. A tall tree, a babbling brook, receiving help from others, cool, clear water, a relaxing afternoon, your favorite food. Mm -hmm. Laughing with friends. Mm -hmm. A warm embrace. A burning candle. A temple on a mountain. A path in the woods. A vibrant sunset. Taking a deep breath. A cat stretching. A beautiful garden path. Your favorite song. The 
the sound of my voice. Your body lying on the floor. It is time to repeat your sankalpa. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Finish with the line, I am whole, healed, and healthy. Come back to the feeling of your breath while flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time, develop your awareness of your physical body. Your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor and take your awareness into all the points that are touching the floor. The back of your heels, your thighs, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands, and your head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects that are around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move. Start by slowly moving your hands and feet. Take your time. There is no hurry. When you are ready, slowly roll over onto the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. And using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. I'll see you in the library if you're coming, and if not, I'll see you tomorrow. It might be pouring down rain <laughs> at the library. Thanks again for coming, and namaste. Thank you all. So glad that you were all able to be here today. Now it's getting darker outside, which is kind of exciting. So that means that maybe it's going to actually rain.